a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Victor Mature Victor John Mature was an American stage, film, and television actor who starred most notably in several biblical movies during the 1950s, and was known for his dark good looks and megawatt smile. His best-known film roles include 1 Million B.C. My Darling Clementine, Kiss of Death, Samson, and Delilah, and The Robe. He also appeared in a large number of musicals opposite such stars as Rita Hayworth and Betty Grable. Early Life Mature was born in Louisville, Kentucky. His father, Marcello Gelindo Maturi, later Marcellus George Mature, was a cutler from Pinzolo, in the Italian part of the former county of Tyrol, was Kentucky born of Swiss heritage. An older brother, Marcellus Paul Mature, died of osteomyelitis in 1918 at age 11. Victor attended St. Xavier High School in Louisville, Kentucky, the Kentucky Military Institute, and the Spencerian Business School. He briefly sold candy and operated a restaurant before moving to California. Pasadena Playhouse Mature studied and acted at the Pasadena Community Playhouse. For three years, he lived in a tent in the backyard of Mrs. Willigan, the mother of a fellow student, Catherine Lewis. He was spotted by an agent for Hal Roach while acting in a production of Taquito and Back. Mature signed a seven-year contract with Roach in September 1939. Hal Roach Roach cast Mature in a small role in The Housekeeper's Daughter, then gave him his first leading role, as a fur-clad caveman in 1 million BC. The film was highly publicized and it raised Mature's profile. Hedda Hopper called him, a sort of miniature Johnny Weissmuller. Roach then put him in a swashbuckler set during the War of 1812, Captain Caution. As Hal Roach only made a handful of movies every year, he loaned out Mature's services to RKO who used him as a leading man in the Anna Nagel Herbert Wilcox musical, No, No, Nanette. The studio people were so pleased with his performance, they bought an option to take over half of Mature's contract with Hal Roach, enabling them to draw on his services for two films a year over three years. Wilcox wanted to reunite Mature with Nagel and Sonny. Roach announced Mature would support Victor McLaglen in Broadway Limited, but the film was never made. Lady in the Dark Mature was worried about the direction of his career at this stage, claiming, nobody was going to believe I could do anything except grunt and groan. So he went to New York to try the theater. He signed to appear in a play with the group theater, Retreat to Pleasure by Irwin Shaw. Shortly afterwards it was announced he would appear instead in the musical Lady in the Dark with a book by Moss Hart and songs from Ira Gershwin and Kurt Vile. Mature played Randy Curtis a film star boyfriend of the show's protagonist, magazine editor Liza Elliott. Mature later described his role. First, this secretary came out saying what a beautiful hunk of man. Then Danny Kaye topped it with a long, long introductory number. Finally, I made my entrance. John Barrymore told me I was the only person who could have followed up all that. The musical debuted on Broadway in January 1941 and was a smash hit making a star of Danny Kaye and MacDonald Carey, and causing fresh appreciation for Mature's talents. His performance was well received, Brooks Atkinson of the New York Times calling him unobjectionably handsome and affable. The description of Randy Curtis in the musical, Beautiful Hunk of Man, would be frequently used to describe Mature throughout his career. Mature missed some of the run due to an emergency appendectomy, but ended up playing the role until June. 20th Century Fox When Mature left Lady in the Dark, he announced that 20th Century Fox had bought out half of Mature's contract with Hal Roach. His first film under the contract was to be Bowery Nightingale with Alice Fay. He was going to follow this with the Shanghai gesture for Arnold Pressburger and Joseph von Sternberg at United Artists. Bowery Nightingale was not made, so Fox instead assigned Mature to appear in a thriller with Fay. I wake up screaming. Faye ended up being replaced with Betty Grable. Filming of the Shanghai gesture was postponed to enable Mature to finish screaming, which was a popular success. The Shanghai gesture also proved popular. Mature was announced for a Fox musical, Highway to Hell, which ended up being postponed. Instead, he replaced John Payne in a Betty Grable musical, Song of the Islands. 
Mature was paid $450 a week under his contract with Roach for Shanghai Gesture, but Roach received $3,750 a week for Mature's services. Roach received $22,000 for Mature in Song of the Islands, but Mature was paid $4,000. He asked for a pay increase of $1,250 a week. RKO wanted Mature for passage to Bordeaux, and Joseph von Sternberg wanted him for Lady Panam. Instead, Mature made another musical for Fox, supporting Rita Hayworth in My Gal Sal. In November 1941, Fox bought out the four years remaining on Mature's contract with Hal Roach for $80,000. Roach had not wanted to sell. But he was in financial difficulties and his backers insisted. Mature would be paid $1,500 a week. He had also had six commitments with RKO. The studio, Fox, will have to make a success of me, said Mature. I wasn't pampered the way a Tyrone Power was, Mature recalled later of his time at Fox. Zanuck would say, if you're not careful, I'll give you Mature for your next picture. Fox talked of reuniting Hayworth and Mature in a Russian set war film Ski Patrol. Instead Mature was lent to RKO for a musical with Lucille Ball, Seven Days Leave. This was followed by Footlight Serenade with Grable and Payne. All these films were very popular at the box office. World War II In July 1942, Mature attempted to enlist in the US Navy but was rejected for colorblindness. He enlisted in the U.S. Coast Guard after taking a different eye test the same day. He was assigned to the, which was part of the Greenland Patrol. This meant that, when Paramount filmed Lady in the Dark, Mature was unable to reprise his stage role. After 14 months aboard the Storis, Mature was promoted to the rank of Chief Boson's mate. In 1944, he did a series of war bond tours and acted in morale shows. He assisted Coast Guard recruiting efforts by being a featured player in the musical review Tars and Spars, which opened in Miami, Florida, in April 1944 and toured the United States for the next year. In May 1945, Mature was reassigned to the Coast Guard Man Troop Transport, which was involved in transferring troops to the Pacific Theater. Mature was honorably discharged from the Coast Guard in November 1945, and he resumed his acting career. Resumption of career After the war, Mature was cast by John Ford in My Darling Clementine, playing Doc Holliday opposite Henry Fone Dus Wyatt Earp. The film was produced by 20th Century Fox, whose head of production Daryl F. Zanuck was delighted that Ford wanted to use Mature, telling the director. Zanuck promised Mature he would keep him away from musicals and stuck to that, casting him in the period thriller Moss Rose. Mature received a $50,000 bonus after shooting completed. His next film was the film noir, Kiss of Death, which had been developed specifically as a vehicle for him. The movie, shot mostly on location in New York, was not a particularly large hit, but was popular, earned Mature some of his best reviews and turned Richard Widmark into a star. Still at Fox, Mature made his second western, Fury, at Furnace Creek, replacing John Payne. That film co-starred Colleen Gray, who had been in Kiss of Death and Fox announced plans to team them, for a third time in a remake of Seventh Heaven. However, the film was not made. Instead, he co-starred with Richard Conti in a thriller directed by Robert Z. Odmack, Cry of the City. Mature still had an obligation to make a movie at RKO which dated from before the war. He was announced for Battleground and Mr. Whiskers before eventually being cast in a serious drama about football, Interference, which became Easy Living, with Lucille Ball, Samson and Delilah. Mature's career received a massive lift when borrowed by Cecil B. Demila at Paramount, to play the lead in the $3.5 million biblical spectacular Samson and Delilah. Demila described the role of Samson as, a combination Tarzan. Robin Hood, and Superman. Mature was reluctant to take the role at first out of fear of risking his new post-war reputation as a serious actor. But he changed his mind. During filming, Mature was frightened by a number of the animals and mechanical props used in the production, including the lions, the wind machine, the swords and even the water. This infuriated the director, Demila, who bellowed through his megaphone, at the assembled cast and crew, I have met a few men in my time. Some have been afraid of heights, some have been afraid of water, 
Some have been afraid of fire, some have been afraid of closed spaces. Some have even been afraid of open spaces or themselves. But in all my 35 years of picture-making experience, Mr. Mature, I have not until now met a man who was 100% yellow. While Samson was in post-production, Paramount used Mature in another film, co-starring with Betty Hutton in Red, Hot, and Blue, his first musical in a number of years. It was not particularly popular, and Easy Living was a flop, but Samson and Delilah earn over $12 million during its original run, making it the most popular movie of the 1940s, and responsible for ushering in a cycle of spectacles set in the ancient world. He returned to Fox and was put in a popular musical with Betty Grable, Wabash Avenue. RKO In late 1949, Mature was meant to fulfill another commitment at RKO, alias Mike Fury. Mature refused to make the movie and was put on suspension by Fox. The script was rewritten and Mature ended up making the film, which was retitled Gambling House. Back at Fox, he supported Dan Sheridan in a comedy, Stella. In September 1950, he was making a film in Montana about firefighters, Wild Winds, for Fox, with John Lund. Mature injured himself in a motorcycle accident. After Lund was stung by a wasp and the location was snowed in, it was decided to abandon the film. Mature took a number of months off, before returning to filmmaking with The Las Vegas Story, with Jane Russell at RKO. RKO released, but did not produce Mature's next film, Andritley's and the Lion, an adaptation of the play by George Bernard Shaw, with Mature as a Roman centurion. Like Las Vegas Story, it was a box office failure. Far more popular was a musical he made at Henge. Million Dollar Mermaid with S. Williams, a biopic of Annette Kellerman, playing Kellerman's promoter husband. According to Williams' autobiography, she and Mature had a romantic relationship. Back at Fox, Mature was meant to be reteamed with Betty Grable in a musical. The farmer takes a wife, but the studio instead reassigned him to a comedy with Patricia Neal, something for the birds. Back at RKO, Mature was meant to star in Split Second, but instead was reteamed with Gene Simmons in the romantic drama affair with a stranger. RKO still wanted him for Split Second, but instead Fox put him in a Korean War film, The Glory Brigade. He followed this with a movie, at Universal, The Veils of Baghdad. The release of this was held up until after that of Mature's next film, The Robe. The Robe The Robe had been in development in Hollywood for over a decade. In December 1952, Mature signed to play Demetrius in two movies, The Robe, and a sequel, Demetrius and the Gladiator. The films were shot consecutively. The Robe, the first cinemascope movie to be released, was an enormous success, one of the most popular movies of all time. Veils of Baghdad was not as popular, but Demetrius and the Gladiator was another hit. Back at RKO, Mature made Dangerous Mission for producer Erwin Allen. He traveled to Holland in September 1953 to support Clark Gable and Lana Turner in a World War II film made at Henge, Betrayed, another popular success. Fox put Mature into another ancient history spectacle, The Egyptian. He was originally meant to co-star with Marlon Brando and Kirk Douglas. Mature renewed his contract with Fox for another year, his twelfth at that studio. The Egyptian ended up starring Mature with Edmund Perdom and Michael Wilding plus Bella Davi. It was a box office disappointment. Mature went over to Universal to play the title role in Chief Crazy Horse, in exchange for a fee and a percentage of the profits. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?